What's up travelers? It's Alyssa from Means to Travel and it is 5.30 in the morning here in Chicago, Illinois. And today I am flying standby to London and I thought I would do my first ever travel day vlog on this channel. Um, so come along with me as we go from Chicago O'Hare to London Heathrow today. Like I said, I just woke up, it's 5.30 in the morning and I always wake up early on travel days, especially ones to Europe where I'm flying standby. So that way I can check the travel um, booking site for standby listings um, that I can access on my laptop here. Uh, and just make sure that nothing has changed overnight. A lot of movement can happen, especially for international flights the day before um, because people want to gun for those final first class seats, uh, especially flying red eyes from the US to London. So I am currently most likely either flying from Chicago to Detroit or Chicago to Minneapolis on my layover. Um, it's so funny on the day of not even knowing what my layover city is gonna be, um, but I think it's gonna be Detroit. And for some reason with Detroit, I'm number one on the list right now, <laughs> which uh, of like 58 open seats, which does seem normal and I think is probably gonna change um, throughout the day. Uh, but with 58 open seats, I'm not super nervous as long as nothing else cancels. Um, again, flying standby, there's so much uncertainty that uh, I get a little anxious on days like this. We'll see, I think everything will be fine today. And so on my flight from Chicago to Detroit, um, I decided to move my flight up. I was originally gonna leave at 12.40 p.m. I'm now gonna leave at 10.57 a.m. It says, um, even though I would go from being like number one on the list to number six, but there's 18 open seats on the um, 10.57 flight. And I would definitely land in time in order to make my evening uh, departure flight from Detroit to Heathrow. And then um, I would most likely um, have two or maybe even three backup flights um, after that to make sure that I could definitely get there if something happened to that 1057 flight, which I always like to have at least one other flight um, within my layover, have longer layovers um, to avoid any risk of anything happening. So come along with me today as I do my, again, first travel vlog <laughs> all the way from Chicago to London with a layover flying standby. Um, and uh, fingers crossed we get there together. All right, I'll keep you posted. Bye for now. Also having uh, two little vitamin C pills to stay healthy on the plane uh, as part of my breakfast too. This is a funny one, but I thought I'd show you guys. I always put a little post-it note <laughs> to remind me to grab my toothbrush and my phone charger because those are always things I forget um, before I close my suitcase. Okay, so um, I just finished getting ready and I'm about to leave for the airport, but I wanted to show you guys because I always talk about like my travel uniform and my long haul flight essentials video. Um, so right now, because I'm going to the first part of my layover, I'm not wearing the compression socks part of it yet, but I'm bringing those to change into in Detroit. Um, but I have on a lightweight cashmere long cardigan. I love wearing cashmere. Um, because it's much more breathable. It's not because I want to sound bougie or something like that. It's literally that I feel like um, I can maintain my, my temperature during the temperature fluctuations on the flight a little bit better in either cashmere or merino wool. And then I'm wearing today, I decided to wear um, my uh, really high-end leggings with the pocket for my phone um, because it's a pretty cold outside. It's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit this morning um, in Chicago. Uh, so these are a little thicker. I don't wear them in the summer. 
um, but I'm really excited to wear them today. Um, and I'm already feeling like today might be one of those where I get bloated from the airline food. Uh, so I didn't want to wear my really high-end black um, jogger pants, uh, even though I do like to wear that when I fly standby a lot, but they are elastic around the waist. So for me, that's just a little bit more uncomfortable than the leggings sometimes. Then I have on a long shirt um, that of course can cover what I need to cover with the leggings. And I have on my zip shoes. I just got these um, cleaned at the tailors, I mean at the cobblers. So they look brand new, but they are like two years old now. I love them so much. Um, they're like waterproof too. And then I have on um, a pair of socks that I'm gonna change um, before I get on the flight to London. So this is my outfit for travel. Again, travel uniform basically. Um, it only changes up a little bit each time. All right, here I go. Oh, and I've also already done my skincare. Um, so that's why I'm probably looking a little glowy right now. I um, put on First, um, some acne treatments, just because I tend to break out when I fly because my skin is oily. And then I put on a lotion with hyaluronic acid that's awesome for moisturizing, plus um, it also has SPF 30 in it, it's from CeraVe. So I'll probably, right before I get on the flight, redo all that, um, just because it's gonna be such a long day. All right, okay, this time for real, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, so it is time for me to head to the airport. Um, Derek and I are both going to London today, but our, we're on different flights, even though our flights land at the exact same time. <laughs> yep, I'm traveling for work, so um, I, I have the benefit of a direct flight, whereas, you know, Eliz is joining me, so she'll be doing a connection through Detroit. Yeah, well, hopefully yeah. through Detroit. Oh, hopefully. Um, so basically, uh, it's because through work, he flies a different airline than I am able to fly standby on. So um, yeah, they literally land at the exact same time though at Heathrow, and then we'll just have to find each other. That should be fun. So he I is- I hope your Wi-Fi works. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> I hear they have Wi-Fi in London. Yeah. Um, so Derek's wearing his travel outfit today too. Lots of layers, yes. <laughs> I, I like layers when I travel, because you can always take stuff off you can't always put it back on. yeah you, I, don't know, I mean whatever. you can't you can't like sew a sweater together i guess you can't, on the you plane. can't sew a sweater on the plane. <laughs> i think that's um, where you're going with that yeah something like that i'm, I'm tired i haven't had coffee yet today he, and he might not because uh our flights leave at like five PM. five or six yeah. p.m and we it's a red eye and then so uh yeah we're both late. like no more coffee the rest of the day um yeah, excited yeah. to uh, get going though, so I gotta head to the airport. He doesn't have to go to the airport for another like five hours because nope. of my layover sitch. Just work. Um, so. so one thing that people kind of forget about sometimes, and I do a lot, is um, the little things that'll make your trip a lot easier. So batteries for me is a big one. So I like noise canceling headphones on flights and because of that, I'm always you know running out of juice midway through, especially long haul flights. Um, so I recommend like stopping at a CVS, Walgreens, whatever, and picking up some fresh batteries before you go on a big trip because nothing's worse than having these like nice over the ear headphones and then not being able to use them because your batteries died. Yeah. Um, and we're also, <laughs> this is like so much less cool, but we're running the dishwasher, taking out the garbage, um, doing all these last minute things around the house right now. Um, and it's I just winter. made the bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's winter time in Chicago, so making sure that everything you know stays nice and toasty warm while we're gone, because yeah. it's gonna dip down into the teens. We do have a smart thermostat, so we are yeah. setting that to eco mode and turning on our security system. So uh, there's just this big checklist. Maybe I'll make another video sometime about what to do right before a trip, yeah. so that way you don't come back to like stinky broken gar pipes, stinky garbage, yeah. broken pipes. <laughs> All right. Um, so on that note. Uh, I'll take you guys with me to the airport now. All right, see you in London. Bye, babe. Bye. So this is my stuff. I'm like super out of breath and it's freezing. I just carried my stuff up like three flights of stairs to the L train.
that's all part of the game. Part of the game. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I just got off the subway at O'Hare and I am on the moving walkway, that's what this sound is, <laughs> heading into Terminal 2. And um, I am about to check in, but my check-in process is a little bit different. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film there, so I thought I would just explain it. So I go to the kiosk and I do have a reservation like code, um, confirmation number sort of thing. <laughs> um, and I'll type that in, and then I have to select what uh, priority travel I'm traveling. So, um, because my travel today is connected with the airlines, sometimes employees, which I'm not an employee, I'm just a friend <laughs> who's been um, kindly given access to this as well as a little benefit to that all employees have. Um, but. I am typing in that I am just regular priority traveling today. Um, there's other ways, if you're an employee, if it's an emergency travel, that you would say that, or if you're um, like a minor uh, who's traveling um, under employee benefits, you have to say that. So I do that, and then um, I get a ticket that just says I'm a standby passenger, no seat assignment. And then I just go to the gate and wait. So <laughs> here I go. All right, I just boarded the plane in Chicago for my first leg to Detroit, and um, I got a aisle seat, and I think there's nobody sitting in the window next to me, <laughs> which is awesome. I'm super happy about that. I can hopefully take some good pictures um, during takeoff and stuff. Um, I do have a pretty long layover in Detroit. The London flight's still looking good um, for me to get there today, and uh, I should probably get going, and uh, I'm going to have to turn off my phone soon. Bye, travelers. Hey everyone, so I am sitting in the lounge at Detroit right now and I uh, have about three and a half hours till my flight and I've been checking the numbers. I am definitely getting on the plane, um, but I don't know if I've mentioned this before, when flying standby, um, for me there's no difference in the price that they charge me based on what class I end up in. And so of course first class is the most desirable and then there's like comfort plus and then there's economy and a lot of people kind of play this funny like prioritizing check-in game um, in order to make sure that they can get in first class if there's an opportunity. So right now I am last in line on the first class list. Obviously I'm just really happy to be getting over to London but it's always so um, interesting to track and see what everybody does these last few hours before the flight. So wish me luck. But uh, the way that my friend who works at Delta put it, um, when I told him the numbers is he said, assume you're in economy and if you are in a different class, then uh, definitely get yourself a drink. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.
first on the plane to get the fun. So I am, have a window seat too, which I am thrilled about. I've never gotten Delta One flying overseas before, so this is going to be phenomenal. is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are located under your seats in the main cabin. Terminal 5 in Heathrow. I landed at Terminal 3 and I um, am meeting Derek at Terminal 5 so we can Uber together into the city to get to our hotel. Um, but it was a much longer transfer than I thought. I had to jump on the Heathrow Express behind me. Um, so it's probably taken about like, I don't know, after I went through customs, so we landed, there was an issue with the jet bridge so we didn't get off the plane right away. Um, but thankfully I had a fast track ticket um, from getting first class, uh, which was really awesome. I've never had that before. It was so amazing. <laughs> um, so got through customs right away. It was a breeze. Um, they were actually really nice there. Um, super nice to me. And uh, then I figured out how to get to the transfer area, get on the Heather Express. Um, it's a free transfer within terminals. Um, and now I'm at Terminal 5, about to go meet Derek, and he told me there might be coffee when I get there. So it's pretty sweet. Alright, to the loo. You I match the here wall. Now. You look like you live here. So I was told there would be coffee for me. Oh, you're drinking my coffee. I'm drinking our coffee. That's silly. How was your flight? 
not the right time for a flight. <laughs> it's really not the right time. So we decided we're going to take an Uber into the city because it's going to cost just as much for both of us to take the Heathrow Express, right, as a, yep. an Uber. If we had bought tickets in advance, um, if we had bought tickets in advance for the Heathrow Express, it like would have been cheaper. But thank you. Oh, hands free. I haven't been hands free all day with this. <laughs> travel day, sort of checking in from the Uber um, on our way to the hotel, and uh, this has been really cool to do. I can't wait to watch everything back and see how it goes, but um, this has been a funny travel day because I feel like my standby situation was so positive today. Usually it's like really hit or miss. <laughs> on whether or not I even get a good seat or a seat. And of course today, you guys are seeing me get first class to Europe, which again, like has never happened. So um, maybe I'll do another travel video sometime if you guys like this and probably show a more realistic view of what flying standby is often like for me. Um, but hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up below and also feel free to press that red subscribe button down below too so you don't miss another travel video of mine in the future and we can hang out more all right uh happy travels everyone cheerio from london town bye derek <laughs> bye travelers hey travelers don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.